girl. Is it raining? Is it raining, Mama? It is, huh? Can you guys hear it? More sad kitties from the rain. They are not happy. Are you woofy? They just sit and stare out the windows like life is so bad. It's raining pretty good today. It's been raining since about 2 a.m. So this is day three of the rain. I think tomorrow it's supposed to slack off. The story of Jacob. Well, Jacob has been part of my family for 10 years. Right around 10 years ago, when I was living in sticks and bricks, I lived in these horrible apartments. And next door to me was a young couple with kids. Um, and I walked outside one day, and they were throwing these kittens up in the air. Actually, they only had one, and it was Jacob at that time. They were throwing him up in the air, and I went over and I caught him. And I'm talking, they were throwing him 20 feet in the air. I said, you don't get your cat back. He's mine now. And from that day forward, Jacob has been a part of my family. He loves my daughter. When she turned 18 and moved out, he became, uh, he knew I was upset and sad. And he, he just kind of became the kid, you know. He, um, he took care of me, I guess. I became the kid. But he kept me going. And when I got sick uh, a couple of years ago, when I started getting sick with my heart conditions, he's what kept me going. He definitely has been a, a, a good friend to me, this cat has, and I love him dearly. Jacob is a gentle soul. He has been such a good friend. I'm serious. I mean, it's funny to say that an animal could be a friend, but he has. He takes care of the other cats. He is the caretaker. He teaches the young ones how to be cats, and how to be respectful. But he has best, especially been very good with Doc. Uh, he loves Doc. He makes him mind and he keeps him in check. But he definitely cares for him. I love all my cats. But Jacob truly is my buddy. He's got a special place in my heart. How's it going? Got me a piece of fruit here to eat. Um, uh, been raining all day, as you can see. Uh, cats are not happy about it, but that's all right. You know, Oregon is a really green place. It's um, very beautiful, as like Washington, and it rains a lot here. And and, and to have that beauty, we got to have all that rain. So you know what? It's not a big deal. Um, a little bit of uh, inconvenience here and there, but other than that, uh, it's cool. I like the rain actually. Um, but uh, the cats are not as happy as I am about it, uh, so but they'll get over it. Um, anyway, I was going to take a drive today, but it was raining so hard I, I decided uh, not to uh, take a drive because it, you don't really get that good of filming of the driving. Uh, well, I don't when I'm when it's raining like this, so I decided to wait. Um, I do have to go down to the store tomorrow and fill up a propane tank. So maybe might take a drive tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Um, but uh, other than that, we're just hanging out, listening to the rain, watching some videos. I just watched uh, Two to Travel, their live show. Pretty good show. I met some new folks on there. Um, and watching Slow Momentum. Love his show. Live shows always. His karaoke, you cannot beat it on Sunday nights. If you guys have not checked it out, uh, Sunday Night Slow Momentum Karaoke, check it out. It's well worth it. Uh, a lot of good entertainment. 
um, <clears throat> and you'll meet a lot of folks there. Uh, it's such a great community, the RV community that I'm in, and the, and the, there's so many different uh, channels that are in it, um, different kinds of channels. It's not all RVs. It's creators and people that uh, become close and, and uh, interaction through, you know, YouTube. Um, so it's kind of nice. Um, <clears throat> Uh oh, they're fixing to get in an argument up there. The doc is pestering him because he's bored due to the rain. Uh, <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, I just had some lunch. I ate. Uh, I had some homemade ravioli with. Um, it was portobello ravioli with um, a salad. Man, it was good. Um, I know the ravioli has uh, carbohydrates in it, but it was stuffed with portobello mushrooms. Could not beat that. Um, it was so good. Um, I think I may have that for dinner too. And I only put four raviolis, you know, per serving on it. So, uh, it works out pretty good. It's not too much carbohydrates. Um, been doing this good this week without not eating much carbs. I've been eating a lot of uh, vegetables and fruit. Um, a little bit of brown rice. Uh, <clears throat> but other than that, been been doing pretty good. So, hey, it's hard to stay healthy or it's hard to get healthy. Uh, but I'm working on it. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, and I can't get out and walk much right now because it's raining so darn hard. I need to fix that license plate on the back, the license plate light. I have that new came in, as you guys seen in my, uh, one of my other videos. Um, and it should be easy to install. It's a universal light. Um, and I know which wires are go to my, uh, my running lights, so that should work. Um, or not my running lights, but my, um, uh, headlights and, and night lights. Uh, so that should work. Get that put on. Um, and I got a piece of a rubber seal to put around that PVC pipe I told you guys about that's going into the side of my van. So I'm going to pull that pipe out, put that rubber rubber around it, and then push it back in. And that'll seal that tight uh, so no rain can get in there. Uh, <clears throat> going to work on that today, but it's raining too hard right now. If it slacks up, I can go out and do that. Um, but other than that, just hanging out, uh, hanging out with the cats. And I hope you guys enjoyed the story of Jacob. Uh, somebody asked me about doing stories on each cat. You know, what's their story? So I thought I'd throw one in here and there of the story of each one. I have five of them. And, uh, but uh, like I said, uh, you know, and I've been asked, do they like to travel? And yes, they do. They, they actually are pretty good travel companions. But now... If I was in a regular van, not a step van, where I could have the living quarters divided from the driving quarters, if I wasn't in that, it, it probably wouldn't be great because they could get out so easy. Um, but when I'm not parked, I keep them in the living quarters blocked off from the driving area. Um, so that way they don't get out if I jump out to get gas or something. Um, so they do make good travel companions. And, uh, for me, they do. And, and, I, but you know, I'm the crazy cat lady. <laughs> so, but, uh, they, uh, <clears throat> also, um, I had, well, he's just running back and forth. Jacob, get him. Um, anyway, uh, the, I have a couple of them that when I'm driving, they just go on my bed and lay down. They don't, they don't move around and look out the windows. They're not too fond of that part. Um, but I play a, a, a channel off YouTube, uh, cat comedy music. And it, uh, it keeps them calm. It's actually really nice music. It's kind of a low tone uh, uh, elevator music, I guess you would call it. Um, <clears throat> and I've listened to it at night and to get them to calm down and they go right to sleep and so do I. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's cat calming music on YouTube. YouTube has everything. Um, anyway, guys, I guess I better get off here and let you guys go. I hope you guys had a great day. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other and I'll see you tomorrow.